Hi guys, this is Legend Arma TV. It's great to see you. I apologize in advance. I'm still quite sick, so uh, my voice can be a little bit too quiet. However, today is the patch day, and uh, we're not getting content, but we're getting a new character. That's right, we're getting Tessa. Now, we're going to talk about the patch notes up ahead, see what is coming, so please enjoy. All right, here we go. Version 2.78. The 18th hero, Tessa, with the update, a third wardrobe update, and Brandish update. So, let's go one by one. Uh, new hero, Tessa, wielding a uh, rapier, a uh, magic character. Uh, there you can see the, the list of, like, uh, outfits that she's going to be wearing and all that. Uh, they also released uh, two uh, tabs that explains, you know, like, some key moves that she does, but... Uh, honestly, uh, all of these things, uh, I'm going to have a separate video. We're going to have a Tessa video guide about the skills, about everything, just in a couple of days, uh, once I try the character and see what she's all about. However, uh, moving on, uh, everything else here is just Perfilm Vanguard, Friendship System, everything that you know every other character has, Tessa will have that as well, voice emotes and so on. We got it. She finally arrived. This is really awesome. Dressing room, third update. So what are the new skills that are being added to the wardrobe? The emblems, the titles, uh, there are three new emotes. Uh, one of them is finger guns and the baller, which the amount of points here is like extremely ridiculous. I don't know. And also uh, extra clone boxes if you ran out. But uh, these type, th these amounts of points are getting ridiculously high. So uh, I don't know, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Outfit uh, boosts. So, uh, this will allow you to actually uh, boost your pieces of regular outfits, not special, and add the defense, the balance, and the movement speed as if they would be special. So, you can transform all of your uh, non-special outfits into special versions. So now if you're like doing combos and so and, and so on, you can actually have all the boosts uh, from the special outfits. This is really good. Uh, this is a really nice change. However, uh, the amount of points right here once again is pretty is pretty huge. It, it gets pretty huge. Uh, also, uh, they have added three uh, different clone boxes, one for tails, one for objects, and one for back or wings. So, um, you will need uh, exclusive points for these, so if you want to obtain a tail box, you need to have uh, a certain amount of tail points, so all the tails that you've collected. Uh, the same goes for the uh, object and the wings. So uh, more clone boxes and uh, more variety that you can clone to your other character, maybe even Tessa. Uh, so this is really good. Convenience feature improvements. Simulation area. Uh, I read it briefly. Uh, the biggest thing that I really like is that uh, the parts of inner armor... Um, no, wait. And they added a feature so that you can change the color of exclusive inner armor. So the forced inner armor, for example, Succubus Queen stockings, you can actually now simulate it uh, in different colors. This is really good. This is uh, something I've been <laughs> I've been looking for. Uh, added the load appearance button, uh, appearance settings screen, uh, convenience features. So uh, basically, uh, a lot of like uh, quality of life changes for the dressing room. Uh, you can see the list uh, right over here. You can see the uh, name of the slot and whatever. Reset time for superior special amples is on every Tuesday. This is really huge as well. So those who have uh, the ability to actually craft your own unique dies, <laughs> like me, uh, if you remember, whenever you craft it, uh, only once you craft a die, the the timer would start of one week exactly. So if you did it on Sunday, uh, 1 p.m., uh, next Sunday, 1 p.m., it will actually cool down. Now they will all cool down on Tuesdays. So this is really awesome. Uh, it finally has a set time, so it's really good. Uh, and Brandish update. Uh, so uh, the way I see it is... Um, uh, there's going to be a new slot under the next storage chest uh, outfit tab. Uh, we can finally have weapon appearance to a brandish. So you can, I, I guess this is like an avatar uh, weapons now. 
uh, fusing a brandish requires a separate premium weapon fusion rune. When fusing, the brandish can only be added to the fuse stat slot. Uh, um, it it uh, sounds a little bit complicated and confusing, actually. Um, really having a hard time understanding this. Let's see, example, if you equip a Twin Spears weapon and then equip a Twin Swords Brandish, the Twin Spears will display it instead of the of the Brandish. Okay, all right, that's interesting. When you've used the die color information for the item of the Fuse Spears, uh, the item in the Fuse stat slot. The add die slot wardrobe skill applies to the Brandish as well. Add die slots. Oh, so this is this is great actually. So you can finally uh, have a different type, uh, like like an outfit weapon, for example, right? And you can actually switch the die preset. So let's say you had the blade in black, and now you can have both, and you can switch in between, like a blade in white and blade in in uh, black. This is really awesome. I, I really like this uh, the uh, weapons. Uh, Brandish, though. Uh, <laughs> this sounds kind of interesting, kind of strange, to be honest. And the other changes. After the uh, 518 patch, all enchant features cannot be used on inner armors, hairs, and epaulets. It's, uh, these were like super ancient, so uh, not really a lot of people actually do have these enchant scrolls and stuff anymore, so uh, nothing to worry about here. And the target uh, mark is going to be... Uh, finally fixed, removed. A lot of people have been quite irritated, like, what the, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> That's it. That's the update. As I said, no content, but we're getting Tessa and some some good stuff for the uh, wardrobe and the uh, avatar weapons. This is really good. Now let's move to the gacha. All right, now let's talk about the gacha. And it's going to be a little bit weird, but we're going to watch the video because the uh, in the patch notes, it's not uh, the gacha, the crystal is not there. The graceful crystal is coming. The first thing that is inside is the old curse harmonious hyacinth set. Uh, it looks pretty pretty decent. However, I'm not really a fan, but it's I think it's only old curves a version of it. So if you like something like that, uh, you might get that. Uh, which the the next set is uh, huge, actually. This is the replica of Epona set, and uh, Kiar just got that set, and it looks amazing. And there is uh, going to be a Destiny box. There's going to be a regular version of the uh, Epona outfit and the All Curves Epona outfit. This gachi is super huge because um, you know Tessa just arrived, so everyone can wail, and I hope they will wail. So I can buy stuff for cheaper. Uh, also, the Zakelian Roar set, the infamous one of the, probably one of the most popular uh, sets uh, for males, is coming back. Also, a special All Curse Secret Agent Aura set uh, is coming back. A first resale, I think, of All Curse uh, outfits. This set is really good. It looks pretty nice. I like it. The airtight white light wings. Uh, I am a huge fan of these. Uh, I have them myself. Uh, probably going to be pretty expensive. They look like mercy wings. They look really awesome, as you can see. Uh, they are pretty pretty. Uh, and special tropical vacation, special tropical beach set, uh, both for male and female. The uh, summer themed uh, outfits look pretty awesome. The jean shorts, uh, the hat is pretty cute. Uh, pretty awesome outfits right here. And also um, they're adding the Tessa makeups, but I think uh, they're just uh, Tessa in, um, exclusive. So don't get your hopes for even though th this looks really awesome i really like that uh, the exclusive hair for tessa and so on that's it for the gacha the um the things <clears throat> that's gonna be in the box i wish you good luck uh let me know in the comment section below which sets you actually like the most and finally let's move to the events now there's gonna be quite a couple of events right here so let's go through them really quickly welcome tessa gathering dungeon event we just had a uh, gathering dungeon uh, collect the seals according to the days and then exchange them with shayla in the exchange shop the things uh, didn't change there whatsoever the same things uh, that's been selling for red and blue essences. Uh, we had that event uh, before. Uh, nothing to talk about here. Tested to the max level up event. So uh, per account, uh, per event, log in as level one and get the ID. Uh, don't mess up with the Tessa. Really? Complete the event story by talking to the strange traveler and obtain the box. 
can play with Tessa character. Upon completion, you will receive Tessa's level 105 title box. So, just make a Tessa, level her to level 105, and get a title. That's it. That's the event. Next up, Discord Socialite event. The sixth one, actually, uh, based on the number of people joining the Discord server, is just like all the time. Uh, the more people join the Discord, once we achieve the milestones, they will receive. Uh, they will just uh, release a coupon. A reward item information. So there's going to be an event package, a VVIP service one day, and a whimsical shark hairpin. When you open the package items, you will receive the VVIP service, and whatever it is an event rank item or group point plus one. This is really good. Uh, you, we're just going to be pretty much getting that for free. So plus one outfit point plus some VVIP and the uh, event package. It's really awesome. Die, die, die. AP dice game event. So um, you, we can earn three uh, dice uh, per day. Uh, once we complete all the daily missions, and uh, you just roll these uh, dices and you go through the board. Uh, it is filled up with just AP, and once you complete a lap, you get one Goddess Grace. Uh, this is specifically made for Tessa, so you can uh, get uh, more AP daily while you're leveling her, so you can level all the uh, skills and stuff. So just to make sure to do the daily quests, receive your dices, and just go do the laps. Next up is Level Up Go Go event. Uh, any account that logs in during the event will receive the Level Up Go Go event guide. If you create a new character or log in with a character at level 30 or below during the event, you will receive the Level Up Go Go box. If you create a new character, box will be sent to the mail. Uh, or if you go with a level 30 or below, uh, will be sent as regular mail. Oh my god, what? Level Go Go boxes expire on 831, so uh, August 31st. When you open uh, the Level Up Go Go box, you will get an additional box that can be opened when you reach a certain level or higher. Honestly, uh, the type of stuff, once you read it for the first time, it actually feels like. I don't know. Is it just me or like everyone feels, feels the same about it? Characters that reach the final level 105 uh, requirement can get the final reward. So basically you level up and every uh, milestone, which is level 15, level 30, level 50, uh, level 70, uh, you gain uh, good uh, goodies. Uh, right there, uh, Merc Pots, uh, Fatigue Potions, TP Potions, Seals of Bravery, uh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of things. Blessing Stones, Accessory Enhancement Boxes, uh, this is really huge. This thing is pretty huge. Uh, you even get, like, uh, essences for the free gear, so uh, if you're leveling a character, you're gonna get uh, just a lot of things just by leveling either a new character or Tessa or existing character that is below level 30. Uh, this event is really awesome. Uh, honestly, the, there is a lot of things here. A lot of things here. And finally, Summer 2021's Grand Golden Time Hot Time event. So, uh, a regular um, Hot Time and Golden Time thingy. Complete the following missions and get uh, Grand Coupons. Uh, 2021 Grand Coupons are limited to 180 per week. Per week. So how to get the coupons. You either do the normal battles, Ain Lacquer, Friendship, Guild, uh, Dungeon, Magmals, uh, Raids, Special, Niflheim, pretty much like every content in the game. And there is a different number of uh, tickets that you can obtain, uh, up to, as they said, 180 tickets per week. Use the coupons obtained from the uh, each mission to get rewards item from the exchange shop. So just do the uh, content that suits you the most, whether that be Redeemer, Royal Army Battles, or just everything if you're a real gamer, and receive these things. Uh, go to the exchange shop, the exchange shop where you can purchase rewards with the 2021 Grand Coupons. When you open items purchased from this exchange shop, you will additionally get uh, Grand Bonus Coins. There is also a second exchange shop where you can purchase rewards with the coins. So you uh, get these uh, coupons, and you purchase uh, the goodies with the coupons, you also get a coin. And with these coins, you can actually uh, visit another exchange shop and buy even more goodies with that. Wow. So, okay, that's interesting. So what do we get here? We get uh, Damascus Steel. 
plus the bonus coin uh, from all the stuff. 15 Damascus Steel, uh, Max Stat Militian Armor Essence Destiny Box, a Succession Shard uh, Max, Mysterious Shard Grade 2 Box, um, Abyssal, Experimental Outfit Dice. Oh my god, that's a lot of things right here. Uh, the list keeps on going and going and going. Uh, th this is really crazy, like... Uh, They've added so much stuff there. The booster pack uh, for seven days, 2000 AP. This is amazing. Content information for boxes obtained from the first exchange shop. Uh, what you can get here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the coins and so on. The, this is amazing. Like This event is definitely will be worth doing. Uh, and also, there is a shop for... Uh, the coins that you will be getting, a max plus 15 swap coupon, uh, three alteration coupon. So basically what they did here, and actually this is actually huge, a clone outfit crafting box. You can, you will be able to get one uh, with, with the tickets, with, with the coins. Basically, before you had to log in uh, and claim it every day. Now you just do the uh, stuff. Uh, you get the coupons, uh, then you get the goodies, and with these goodies you get the coins. And then with the coins on top of that, you can purchase these goodies right here. So uh, this is really this is really amazing. 2021 Golden Outfit Set Box. Like, wh wh what is that? What does it uh, What does it have? I'm not even sure. We'll have to look into it. But this event is huge. This event is amazing. And the height of summer hot time event, obviously, during the event, uh, the things are being applied 24 hours a day. So on the weekend, on the weekdays, uh, comp uh, 1.5x completion XP for level 70 plus, AP uh, double, double expertise proficiency in weapon, uh, in speed, sorry. And on the weekends, uh, the completion, AP, expertise, and evil core plus one. This is really amazing. Uh, all these events are really great. Uh, this hot time, golden hot time event is definitely worth doing, guys. Uh, don't miss out on it. It has huge amounts of uh, good stuff right there. And that's it for the patch. Let's get to the conclusion. And that's it for today, covering today's patch. Tessa has finally arrived. I congratulate all of you who's been loyal and devoted to this character. Hope you guys enjoy this character. Uh, the events are amazing. The gacha is huge and amazing. A pretty decent update. I would give it a, a seven and a half out of ten, for sure. It's pretty pretty good. I wish there was a rebalance rebalance patch, but I guess we're gonna get that uh, next month with the uh, Tarathon update. Uh, we'll see about that. Please enjoy Tessa. Thank you so much for watching. This was Legend Arma TV. Subscribe to YouTube channel, join my Discord, stop by Twitch as always. If you want to support me directly, join me on Patreon as well. Please guys, be safe, I love you all 3000, and I see you very very soon. And I hopefully I will um, get healthy finally, I'm sick and tired of being sick. <sighs> see you later.